frequently asked question number 24 do succulents like to be crowded now guys ideally succulents are a type of uh, plants that tend to like to be crowded but uh, again you need to understand how crowded you want to make the pot now if you remember this pot was made couple of months back i'm not very sure i'll have to check on the dates so as you can see this arrangement was made sometime back i'm not sure exactly when i will check the date and i'll put it on the screen and also i'll put the arrangement on the screen uh, on the right hand side this is how the arrangement looked a uh, few months back you can see that i had left enough space in between each of the succulents so that they can grow and this is how the succulent tends to look right now this is how the arrangement tends to look right now now a lot of people they get inspired from social media because you know you might have seen succulents on instagram on facebook or other social platforms wherein you might have seen very tiny succulent arrangements wherein the succulents are jam packed with each other and they look absolutely beautiful i mean if i happen to see that or if i had seen that couple of years back i would have been definitely inspired to make something like that it looks absolutely beautiful there is no space at all it's completely jam packed and the succulent tends to look absolutely beautiful now will this work for everyone unfortunately not uh, especially for people who are from tropical environment like uh, myself i belong to a tropical environment and for me if i am going to club the succulents like that if i'm going to make a tight constructed arrangement like that then a lot of my succulents in that will start to get rotted reason is because we belong to a very humid environment basically the tropical environment has a lot of moisture it's very humid it's very warm that is why a lot of foliage plants tend to do quite well but a lot of our succulents do not do that well so it's advisable that if you are making an arrangement leave enough space in between each succulent you might have seen this arrangement how much of space was there and you can see after a couple of months the succulents are starting to push against each other and if i had put in more succulents you know what would have happened i would have to deconstruct this uh, arrangement long back ago but because i had left enough space i can still keep this arrangement for another couple of months without touching this arrangement so it all depends on what environment you belong to if you belong to a very cool dry environment then definitely you can uh, push in or fuse in more succulents you can construct a more uh, tight arrangement of succulents but if you are from a place wherein it's very humid it's very warm uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air then i would suggest that give enough space so that there is a good amount of air circulation but for people who are from a very cool environment a very dry environment it might work out much better but again guys we are not very sure because we tend to see these pictures only once on instagram or on facebook or any social uh, platform but we don't exactly know what happens next because a lot of times this just these are just pictures that are flooded on the internet we see one picture and probably we might not see that arrangement once again so we don't know exactly how long that arrangement has lasted so to be honest personally even i don't know how long that arrangement might have lasted or you know a lot of times this is what happens we tend to also see succulents in magazines as well it's just one picture and that's all about it we don't know what happened next uh, how long did that arrangement last because a lot of times these pictures are like one take pictures but when you tend to grow you are much aware as you can see this is a perfect example uh, how the succulents have started to uh, kind of fuse into each other they have started to get little compact i had different variety is of succulents in this but mostly uh 1 2 3 4 of them were echeverias and one was my graptoveria these two were the graptoverias i will put up the names as well on the screen because i don't know the names of most of these succulents i only know that this is echeveria pvn this is pink rosa uh this is the graptoveria aviant and then this is the hercules uh i'm not very sure about these two names but you can see that they have grown quite well uh because as i said i don't use any fertilizers uh for me dormancy and non dormancy does not uh, matter a lot you can see as you can see echeverias are summer growers whereas graptoverias are uh, summer dormant but still you can see they are doing quite well with each other because i don't use any fertilizers i just give them that correct amount of light morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours and i water them accordingly whenever the soil is completely bone dry and it is working out really well even though there are two different varieties of succulents that go dormant in different season but you can see the pot has been doing excellent so the end of the thing what i would say is it completely depends upon you what environment and what climate you belong to a lot of people are from a very dry and cooler environment probably it's going to work out really well or some people are uh, 
you know in a location where it is uh, quite elevated above the sea level uh, mostly a lot of people tend to live in hilly regions or tend to uh, stay in an environment that is at a high altitude probably it might work out really well for you but for people who are from coastal areas or for people who are from a very warm and humid environment then probably a very closely constructed uh, a, a arrangement like this might not tend to work so again it completely depends upon you you can try it by yourself experiment it by yourself and check if it tends to work out or not for me a closely uh, connected or a, a tightly constructed arrangement does not work out that is the reason why i tend to leave a lot of space you can still see even though it is very congested but still there is a lot of space in between the arrangement so Again, I will give another few months and then probably I will move them into their individual pots so that uh, they can have more growth. Another important thing what I want to share is uh, especially when you have arrangements like this, it tends to, uh, we all know that succulents tends to grow very slow. But when you have an arrangement like this, it even further reduces the growth of your succulents. So that is one of the negative point of making a tightly constructed arrangement. It also tends to reduce the amount of growth of your succulents. So again if you're a person who does not like your succulents to grow huge then this is one of the best option you can go because this tends to reduce the growth even more first of all succulents are very slow growers then this will even more reduce the growth uh, i love succulents that are really tiny and small i do not like very huge succulents that's why you might have seen most of my succulents are, are very small and compact i prefer my succulents to be that way so when i have an arrangement like this i feel uh, okay with it because i do not like my succulents to grow huge so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and thank you so much for watching